Hello everybody, welcome back to Dank Out 4. I am your host Alex, also known as Solanus Dracone. Alright, I actually made a bit of a false start on the stream there. Wasn't streaming or wasn't doing something, I got my hot buttons mixed up. But not really too much has happened. What I have done, if you'll remember the previous episode, that I did actually begin the whole cigar box trick with McCready. And then I thought to myself, you know what, this is getting monotonous. Not only am I taking up a bunch of my own time, I'm wasting my own time, really. So what I did is I went ahead and console commanded McCready's rep up to 999. Yeah, it's a little bit of a dirty cheat, but I'll be honest with you, the only time that I'm actually saving, uh, or the only thing that I'm actually saving is my own personal time. I'm not cheating any special resources into things. I'm not doing any crazy bull crap. All I'm doing is saving my own human time, and I feel that's important to me. So then, what we are going to do here is, I've already gone ahead and got McCready's rep up to 999. I believe 500 is the actual uh, marker for him to begin the next stage of our quest, but he's being a little bit shy about it. But that's okay, I'm just going to take him with me on doing one or two minor things until such time as he does decide to talk to me. And that brings us to the Old North Church, because we had completed Tradecraft, which means that now we are allowed into the railroad. I want to take a quick moment while everybody's here to remind you that, unfortunately, YouTube's commenting system is not the greatest. I do not always know when I'm actually being spoken to on YouTube. So I really do urge you guys to try and you know, subscribe to me on some of those social media things that I post at the end of each video and that I have in each description if you reliably want to be able to get in contact with me and say something. That being said, let's go ahead and press on. As before, I am streaming at the same time as recording, so if I decide to answer into any of the voices that decide to speak to me in my own head, then, please forgive me, I am that little bit crazy. So Deacon's here, you what's up, Deke? Me up, put me on his shoulder. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? To be honest, it's pretty true. I've, I did all that. So, um, it's not exactly a lie. I mean, I, I've probably killed not quite a hundred since, but I've done quite a few and I did disable that minefield. But let's just tell the truth. Mostly true, but there weren't a hundred of them. And Deacon was with me the whole way. Embellishing the truth again, are we? She would have fallen for it, you know? Don't flatter yourself. Still, I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. And this makes the second actual game I've streamed within a 24-hour period that there's a character named Desdemona. Eh, yeah, because I did Dragon Quest Heroes 2, well, last night if you're on the stream. God knows how long ago. Oh, by the way, quick announcement. I am changing my Fallout 4 schedule. Because I'm having such a good time... Shut up, bitch. Because I'm having such a good time doing it, I'm going to switch to doing it Tuesdays and Fridays each week. So Fallout 4 will be a twice-a-week sort of thing. Let's join the railroad. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. Ooh, ooh, code names. Um, I like Fixer. Let's be honest, all the other options suck. Call me... Fixer. Fixer certainly seems an apt name. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Now, here's the thing, is that I'm only gonna go as far as doing one of the jackpot quests. The jackpot quests are given to you by the Assaultron named Pam. Oh, and I got a level up. Yay. I'm gonna use that level up for... 
Demolition Expert 2, now I get a throwing arc on my grenades. Very, very useful indeed. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe. Sure, Ghost Lady. With a cigarette on your wrist. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Why is that cigarette on your wrist, Desdemona? It don't make sense. She's introducing me to people. Hello. Listen up, hey. everyone. This oh, is now MacReady's got something to say. Hey, MacReady, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hi. Hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. Yeah, I, this is more important to me than some bullshit going on in the background. Uh, no problem, bro. It wasn't a problem. Are you kidding? You stuck your neck out for me. I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. Uh, McCready, what's with you, uh, what's with you not cussing? Cursing doesn't offend me, you know. I didn't think it did. It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave Little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. I had a beautiful wife named Lucy, and a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. You know, I'm curious, and Rambler, you're in the stream, if you could look this up for me. Was Lucy a character in Fallout 3? Find that out, please. Uh, don't know what to say, bro. I don't know what to say. Sure you do. You want to tell me how cruel it was to leave them behind. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. Now, um, I want you guys to take note. This is an important bit of Fallout lore. He mentioned that his son came down with a sickness that involved blue boils. This is going to come up. I'm going to help. There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security codes. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. I'm gonna actually look that up. Lucy and Fallout 3. Don't worry if you're on the, uh, if you're on YouTube then, well actually I shouldn't cut this. So let's see, who was Lucy in Fallout 3? Because that's, the name sounds familiar. Oh yeah, oh my goodness, Lucy was the doctor in Little Lamplight, so did MacReady marry that Lucy? Is that the Lucy you married? Oh my goodness, that would be so adorable. Don't give up hope, bro. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing. No one's ever cared that much about me before, even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. Uh, I don't really care about you all that much. I just care about your perk. So, all right. First thing we got to do, give Dr. Carrington some prototype. He don't like us much. Ah, it's our newest agent. Desdemona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Uh, just here to help, man. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Uh, sure. Sounds like an important mission. It is. After switchboard, we're so short-handed. I have Deacon no fucking likes everything. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. 
It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? Yeah, we already know the that. Is, mine is in the shop. We, we did this on the last mission. Me Deacon taught you that at least. Yeah, he totally did. I'm gonna try and speech check this guy. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Yeah, I got a better way of getting to it. So here's the deal. We have to complete this quest before Pam will give us a jackpot quest. So let's, let's talk to Pam. Pam. Processing. Agent. Fixer. Your arrival was not calculated. Uh, you know, strange. I'm here. Well, I'm here. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam. Predictive analytic machine. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you, Pam. Introductory token recognized. Nice to meet you, too. Unknown entity, I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region designated commonwealth rephrasing i predict the future uh you didn't predict me but you didn't predict me coming that's correct caution biological life forms behave erratically unpredictably all output subject to an extremely high margin of error <laughs> That's good to know. Good to know. I urge you to disregard all predictions. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query, what is your point of origin? Uh, you know what? None of your damn business. It's a long story. Processes reaching maximum capacity. <laughs> Conversation terminated. Pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye. I'm like, yeah, don't want to talk about it. She's like, cool, TLDR. So, yep, yeah, Pam, she's obviously the mom of the group. But now we have the fast travel point for the railroad HQ. We can go where the hell we want. So, let's go ahead and get to Bunker Hill, because we've got that fast travel point. And while we're doing what we're doing... Or when we get a good moment, I will talk about why the whole sickness with blue boils and such was actually important. It's uh, it's really cool Fallout lore. Here is a... oh, we've got to see what's inside this place. Oh yeah, McCready is with me. Well, you know what, McCready? Tell you what, go ahead and uh, wait back at Red Rocket for me, and I'll come catch up with you when I give a shit again. McCready, I think it's time for you to leave. I think you're making a huge mistake, but hey, it's your funeral. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. I sure do. Go back to Red Rocket, you asshole. Okay, so, gotta go pick up a dead drop. The dead drop can easily be found just by heading out to street level here. I'm gonna turn on the light so that I can see. Oh, Rambler, you so funny. Was astoundingly awesome. The trade paperback that replaced the monthly mediocre. If only you could be here with me. So the dead drops right here, along with some mole rat teeth. And let's go back to Bunker Hill. And get our mission on, because we should be able to begin and end this pretty well easily. Just run back around the corner here. Don't have to run, but it helps. An old man Stockton is available to speak with. Deegan's still waiting for me, that's funny. Hello. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? And this is fun, we get to uh, talk covertly, so let's go ahead and talk covertly. Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine persuasion. You're with our mutual friends, yes? 
Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. A trader always has to move his merchandise sufficiently. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Facilitate delivery. I can do that. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery. So, if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn, we can do this tonight. See you soon. The way it would otherwise go is if you approached him during the day, he would basically say go clear out and meet us after dark. So where is this place that we've got to go? It's over here. Not too terrible a journey, really. Let's go ahead and make said journey. And of course we're making it on foot because why the hell wouldn't we? See what's the best way to go about doing this? I'd say join up with the main road and follow it that way. Funny that the Freedom Trail leads to Bunker Hill, too. That's funny. I like it. Okay, so we're probably about as close to things as we get. This is the highway, basically, that we're supposed to be following. But everything's on this side of the map. And I'm actually kind of coming this way, partially because I want to sort of clear things out on the way to where I'm going. Basically, we want to get to... Uh, there, there's a sort of a church going on around here that we can get to. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, it's a mire lurk. Come here, big boy. He's going to be dead before he reaches us. Dead as you please. Okay. What I would like to do is I would like to try and clear out as much of the bullcrap as possible on the way to where we want to end up. So there's a thing up there. Let me switch to Wastelander's friend so I got a scope. Good, good, good. Back to Deliverer. And the idea is we're trying to get to a safe house in the long run. In the end, we are trying to get to a place called Ticonderoga. But there's going to be some crap on the way, so the more crap we can take care of beforehand, the more expedient things will be. And this is pretty much the path that we come along to get there. So there are raiders all up in this business. Let's just go ahead and take care of some raiding ass. Uh, ooh, legendary. Let's commit what we've already done, and then we'll consider the legendary a little bit more carefully. Now you, sir, get a headshot, and then follow it up with all the torsos. Critical is guaranteed. That's transformed you. So let's get a little bit closer and shoot the crap out of your torso there. Alright. Excellent. And you've got a Martyr's girded leather left arm. Martyr's is good stuff, but again, not going to be using it. Just picking it up for the sake of picking it up. Mm, leather, leather, okay. Pretty worthless stuff on these guys. Shotgun shells, that's good for selling. Shotguns are great, but I just I don't tend to use them. Leather, 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 okay. So yeah, this is pretty much the direction that we come while on the mission, but the more assholes that we can get rid of on the way there, the better we're going to have of a time of getting the hell back out. So come on, where's the rest of you little schmucks? Uh, they're not going to be an issue. Yeah, it's just around the corner this away. Not even trying to be stealthy here, guys. But I do wonder if they're going to spawn in some raiders. I think they do spawn in some raiders. Pretty sure they also spawn in a super mutant at the top of that building. Yeah, there he is right there. Look at him. Uh, 
Uh, he, he fucked off. Okay, that's fine. Super Mutant never really becomes an issue. So where we're supposed to go and clear out is this place. This church right here. And you guys... Boy, oh boy. Two shots there. Three shots there. Three shots there. Just to be absolutely certain. And that clears this place out. Good stuff. I'll take all the leather stuff. Whenever I can get my hands on some leather. Alright, so now that they're dead, here's old man Stockton. Came out of nowhere. And he's brought a friend. What's the deal, son? What's the deal? Stockton? Stockton? What? Oh! It's a ghoul. Okay, fair enough. There, There is a ghoul. Usually he runs in here and causes trouble. Stockton? Excuse me. Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. Hello, H2. How you doing, buddy? Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. He's gonna fire up the signal, and H2, poor H2, he's just leaves such a hard life. Nobody likes speaking to him in his old life. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. You got it, old man Stockton. Is this... Nope, can't destroy the lantern, apparently. So, somebody new is gonna spawn right there. There he goes. While Stockton's just basically vanished into the ether. Hello, bro. Easy there. Don't shoot. Fixer, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Now, hold on there, buddy. Let's make sure you're legit. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you. You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. I'm afraid we need a little more help. I'll take care of it. More raiders. Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice of you. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah. I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the way. I don't particularly care. So I'm switching to Righteous Authority, and, uh... He said there's more raiders behind him. Um... Hi, hi, hi Rise? Hi, Rise? Hi, Rise? Go, go ahead and lead the way, Bo. Go, go ahead and lead the way. Hey, hi, Rise. We can catch up at Tycon. We just gotta make it there alive first. You, you okay? There you go, he's fine. Alright, so yeah, he's gonna bring us this way. He said there's more raiders behind him. I'm wondering if that means they've spawned in. Yep, sure as shit they have. And a legendary raider, too. I can probably get a headshot in on him. I'll have a crit ready in just a second. And headshotted to complete destruction. Excellent. And sure, let's take care of the super mutant up there just for a larf. I switched to Righteous Authority because it's got the best range. These guys just have tons of Molotovs. Look at all those Molotovs. He's got Exterminator's gear on him. Oh god, he did bring more. Listen, just just perish already. That's nice of him. He'll actually wait for us to finish looting all the corpses. He knows we he knows what we're about. 
But because we've taken care of the raiders all up in this business right here, that means we won't have to worry about them. And our way is mostly clear out of here. Okay, high rise. Everything golden. Wanna roll? There we go. And I don't think we'll be running into any more trouble. It was just that one little ambush that kind of auto-spawns in when this guy shows up. And then there was the other set of raiders who hold up in that little shanty there. And that's pretty much it. We're done. Just gotta cross this here bridge without incident. I rise will wait for H2 over there to catch up. And after a moment, when he realizes everybody is here, he'll initiate the dialogue. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types. Huh. Yep. This was easy. Just part of the service. I think I'm gonna like you even more than Glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. But right now, I need to take care of H2. Later. Okay, so introductory mission to the railroad number two is complete. We got H222 where we needed him to be, and it had to take place at night, so I couldn't exactly wait. I'm going back to Railroad HQ. Now then, hopefully, hopefully what's going to happen is that Pam will automatically have a jackpot quest ready for me. Wake up, Carrington. Hey, Carrington. Heavy's bloody traipsing around at all hours. I take it the H-222 situation has been resolved? Of course, but there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. I'll bet you do. But, uh... You're not my boss. You're not my boss. Until we know the butcher's bill from the Institute's assault, all agents report to me. Including you. Details await at the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. And this kind of illustrates one of the reasons that I'm, I've am i already chosen the Brotherhood as who I'm going to go with on the faction, because you, I didn't have a choice there. Carrington was like, you're fucking doing the mission, fucking deal with it. I, I don't have a choice as to whether or not I get to go on this mission. So they've slammed a new mission into my actual log. Screw that. Let's see, Pam, do you have something for me? Agent Fixer has arrived. I have a mission for you. Please tell Without me it's a jackpot. Efficiency of synth traffic flow. Odds of entire organization being compromised increase daily. Solution. A new distribution center needs to be established. Okay, yeah, I knew this was going to happen. Basically, Pam will usually give you one mission to secure a new safe house before you go about actually well, doing what they want you to do, so sounds good to me. I get to set up a new base. That's cool. Agent's temperature is irrelevant to this conversation. Mission and I bet I know where they're going to send me. It's going to be Hangman's Alley. Target location. Fortify position to protect I'm calling Hangman's Alley. Railroad assets. New distribution center will be codenamed Mercer Safe House. Good luck. Yep. Oh, Taffington Boathouse. Wow. Well, that is not expected. So, Taffington Boathouse. That's going to be fun. It's a little bit of a way out of the way here. Let's see. Yeah, Taffington Boathouse is up here. It's not terribly far. But I got to do that if I want to do the dadgum mission. So, I guess I got little choice. Now... Let's see, I could start from Bunker Hill and run my way up to here. That could be safe. I could go over to Lexington and head eastward. And then, of course, there's MedTech Research. So, you know what? This actually works out okay because we're going to end up at MedTech Research when we start doing the McCready thing. So, this works. This is fine. Although, I will mention that what we're basically going to be doing is killing everything that's there and using it to set up 10 security. And to get 10 security... I do believe you need to have at least two gun turrets. 
So I'm hoping that I can get my hands on some oil and gears and such on the way there. But uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and start off at Bunker Hill. It's going to be the, the safest way to get there, I think. It's not going to be particularly safe, but it's going to be the safest way. And of course, uh, Taffington Boathouse is another one of those places that, if you were doing the Minutemen, you could settle as one of the options. And it's just a settlement in general. So, let's see. First things first, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't want to go back alleys if I can help it. I want to try and follow the main thing. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and go out this way, and we'll work our way around. Wh who are you? Raiders! Hello, Raider. Raider is dead. I heard something splash. I don't know what that was. Uh, just leather. Okay, I'm good with that. Let's switch back to Deliverer for a bit. Just because I want to use the Deliverer. And we're essentially just trying to work our way over to that spot. So we're more or less following the highway here. We're more or less going to be following the crumpled down, messed up old freeway. Let's just see if we can choose a nice safe route to get there. Alright. This should be fine. I, I think we'll be fine here. We know we've already cleared out this section, so it's not going to be too terrible. Wait. Huh, I thought I shot you down. Spotlights will let enemies know where you are. Generally, you want to deal with them. Yeah, I suppose it's okay to maybe turn right now. That is mutant territory, never mind. Just retread our footsteps. Now, this is going to bring us pretty close to Malden, I believe. So that works out okay, because Malden is a Brotherhood quest, and, you know, we do Brotherhood quests. But yeah, this it works out that they sent us to Taffington, but oh! Of course you're going to give me a legendary Feral Ghoul Roamer. Dead. I always put two shots into them just in case. Yep, the first shot didn't do it. And of course, always check ghouls. They generally have something on them. Cigarette, toothbrush... Should be fine. Yep. Okay. Back this way. See, we are basically following the freeway. I don't expect us to run into a hell of a lot of trouble here. Not a hell of a lot. Certainly an amount. But not an incredible amount. Now let's see. Might as well touch off whatever this particular fast travel location is. Tucker Memorial Bridge, okay. And Taffington Boathouse is pretty much... Oh. A rad roach. Eat shit, little guy. Oh shit! Woo! <laughs> Alright. That's... Damn, son! See, that's what I get for uh, not watching out for tripwires. The whole thing was covered in oil, and there were two cars to explode in a nuclear fire. So, yeah. Don't just go charging in, folks. Boy, everything went crazy here. But it's so far been a safe journey. Mostly safe. I haven't nearly died once. So excellent. Right up here, this B. Taffington Boathouse. I'm going to switch to my most accurate gun because we're going to be dealing with bloodbergs. Bloodbugs, that's what I meant to say. And, uh, yeah. Die, you little shit. Gotta stop pressing B after every vat's shot. That's a fully grown blood bug, that is.
Fully grown blood bugs are just a little bit more dangerous than the regular blood bugs. Grab their proboscises and such because they do actually have acid in them, and acid, as I've mentioned before, is a very good way of making oil. That's a dead Brahmin. Ooh, glowing fungus. Never turn up glowing fungus. That stuff's the good stuff. This is where the blood bugs is. Ooh, and a red widow, those are nasty. Destroy with extreme prejudice. The more advanced blood bugs, they can get downright dangerous. Okay, that's cleared the place out. Now then, um... Ooh, steamer trunk. You know what, I'll leave it be. Taffington Boathouse is probably one of the better places they could have sent us actually to, because I'm gonna do a scrap all on this obviously, and when I do the scrap all, there's probably gonna be enough stuff for me to actually have some oil and gears. So let's do it, scrap all. Again, that's just my little time saver. You can go around scrapping down things personally if you want. I choose not to. Our next mission is going to be to set up some defenses. And we, yes, we have enough for two machine gun turrets. All we need is ten defense. It's a waste of resources to put down a heavy machine gun turret when you're doing a safe house mission. So just two machine gun turrets. I'll put one here. And I'll put one here. And that's it. We're done with this mission. Excellent. So yes, it was merciful that they sent us there because we had the resources, we didn't have to go traveling back and forth and hunting. Okay, back on track. We've done the thing for Pam. Now let's see if she'll give us a jackpot mission next. You really walk the Freedom Trail? By yourself? Setting human machine interface to 100%. Good day, Agent. My data indicates Mercer Safe House has been established. Reward dispensed. Help is it's gotta be a jackpot I mission. Yes! Now oh, please tell me it's not Hub 360. Has asked for you to secure the cash if it's Hub 360, I'm not gonna be happy. Alright. A pre-war cash, huh? This will be interesting. Unable to process verbal response. The cash is hidden in compliance with Tactical counter surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. Got it. Got it. Agent's assessment is correct. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human machine interface. So, where are they sending us? Medford Memorial Hospital. Honestly, not as bad as it could be, and it's actually real close, too. It is right next to Taffington Boathouse. Perfect. That works out great. And that it probably works out very dangerously, because I think Medford Memorial is full of super mutants. Oh boy. That's fine. That's fine. We got this. Medford Memorial, right by Taffington Boathouse, which we just secured. Right there. That's where it is. Boom. Uh oh. oh. Yeah, there's a lot of blood bugs down there. Let me see if I can avoid them. Well, who knows? I'm gonna ignore the rest, but yeah, look, there it is. Ooh. Super mutant suiciders. There's only one right way to deal with them critical to the right arm. You. And looks like I got a little bit poison there. Not really poisoned, I would say, but if this were survival mode, I'd probably have a disease. So yes, yeah, super mutant suiciders, basically super mutants who are carrying around a mini nuke in their hands who run at you and suicide bomb themselves. Fantastic. If you can shoot their right arm, it will detonate the device, and it will take care of business for you. We got a super mutant, and we got his hound. 
and the hounds put out a rather impressive howl. See if we can take this guy down. Oh yeah, handily. Perfect. Whoop. Man, that forward momentum though. Alright, bottle cap is good. Board not so much. Uh leave that be. Mutant hound meat cooks up. And inside Medford Memorial. Now hopefully the cache is not gonna be too far in, but I have a feeling that it will be quite a distance. Yeah, it's up a level or two. That is a suicider. Hello. I see your right arm is very easy to hit. Magnificent. And that doesn't seem to have alerted anybody. Let's see. Ooh. All stuff that I want. And generally, if you kill a suicider... Ooh, surgical trays. Those are good for aluminum. If you kill a suicider, there's a good chance there'll be nuclear material on the body. Alright, we gotta make it upstairs. And this is a legendary super mutant. Brute. Fantastic. One critical headshot, the rest into the body. Oh god, and he ran out of the way. You know what, just fucking... Oh! Damn, son! He must have had something good on him. Is that the first death of the playthrough? I don't recall. Right, we'll try this again. What? Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> okay, so, um, maybe watch for assholes first. Maybe I can get something sorted out here. Oh, you know what my problem is? I'm very low on HP. I should take care of that. That would be why I was having that death problem there. God, they're all over the place. Alright, just, just deal with it as you can. Uh, this is turning into a bloodbath. There's the brute. Brute's been sent into his rage. Oh, they wanted to play Molotov catch? Let's play Molotov catch. Jesus Christ! What the hell are they shooting? Okay, you know what? Maybe be more stealthy about this. Damn, those blood bugs screwed me up. Alright, let's go ahead and save that. And just remember what our mission is. We're just trying to get to the cache. Huh? What's that? He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. I don't exist. They see me. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Where is the suicider? Oh boy. Things are gonna get bad. Things are getting nasty all of a sudden. Stim it up. There's the legendary. Let's crit him in the face. God, where is he even coming from? That beeping is such high tension. No way I could pick this. I can't get into the theater. Shit, shit! God! I, that legendary brute is gonna be the one that really is the problem. God! 
I didn't think it would be this troublesome. Right, maybe, maybe we can do things slightly differently. That brute is what's making things really difficult. He is super powerful. No fight today. Alright. Things have calmed down. Let's see if we can get to the third floor without being noticed. I guess not. Alright, into cover, into cover, into cover. Uh-uh. Last couple times I faced you, I died. That's the brute. Okay. We're gonna switch to frag grenades on this, of which we only have a very few. We did kill somebody. Oh, it's the brute. Critical of the face. And he is down, thank God. And then this guy shows up. Thankfully that was enough to kill him. Boy, this turned into a bloodbath quickly, didn't it? Is that, is that everybody? Is that most of everybody? Alright. It's most of everybody. Well, let's just check around then. Red Scorpion meat. Uh, don't want to spend too much time. Don't want to spend too much time. But, I want to spend some time. Somebody hears me. Ow, 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 ow. Who's, who's shooting? Stop. Stop shooting. I just want my nuclear material and my hound meat. Let's save that bit of little progress there. Yeah, Medford Memorial definitely was more trouble than I thought it was going to be. Switching back to Molotovs here just because I have more of them than anything else. And then that guy's going over there. Wait, we are due for an upgrade on some of our equipment pretty soon. There one over here. If there is, we don't need to worry about him. He had a lucky shadowed combat armor chest piece. Would be fantastic if we were doing that sort of thing. If we were actually taking him up, or if we were actually taking anyone up on their legendary drops, but we're not. But extra luck, that would be lovely. Alright, so. The cache is on the third floor, it seems. Let's see if we can make our way over to it. See, if we had better sneak, if we had come in a lot more sensibly, a little bit less violency, we could have gotten our way over to this cache pretty darn easy. But as it turns out, we had to shoot our way through. And here it is. After all of that, Usually there's okay stuff in a cache. A little bit of ammo. It's mainly stuff I'm going to be breaking down. I'll take it all. And all you had to do was get to this cache. Get the door to open, step in, good, you're golden. What's up here? Just some cash. Okay. So now that we've got the jackpot mission done, we are now going to be able to actually get Pam to unlock the ballistic weave for us, which was the whole point of what we were trying to flipping do here. And this is, this marks pretty much as far as we're going with the railroad, although I imagine we're going to have one more annoying thing happening shortly. Out in the open, let's head back with our victory in tow. See, it would have been great if they had, I guess it's kind of easier that they sent us to Medford Memorial, but you know, Hub 360 is less danger, but it's a lot more work to find because it's kind of hidden and tucked away. Medford Memorial's easy to get to, but once you're in there, you Why saw you exactly how much crap. No, stay away, drummer boy. Stay away. I have nothing to do with you. Hey, you. 
Oh, fuck off, drummer boy. No. Bam. Send a runner to the DIA statistical model. Reward dispensed. Hey, you. God damn it, drummer boy. Can you please leave me alone? All right, next level is good. Lone Wanderer 2 is tempting, but so is... Well, we've got Science 2 already. And we could unlock the next rank of Gun Nut for a little bit more power pistolage there. But I think I'll just go with Lone Wanderer 2 for more carry capacity and better defense. So now that we've done that, I believe that uh, Pam's going to hey, want you. us to speak Randall. with, uh, Pam. with Tinker Tom. Set. Yeah, we're gonna speak with Tinker Tom. You're here for my Everybody in here wants us to talk to them. Let's find Tinker Tom and get this over with and finish up all of our business with the railroad. There's Tinker Tom. Shit, man. The cash you found has some real serious high tech. But the creme de la creme is ballistic polymer weave. Lightweight, serious stopping power. And it looks just like normal clothing. I got some in stock now. But, oh, give me some time. I got all sorts of ideas. Good. Let's barter. Show me what you got. I will set you up, my friend. Have you got some ballistic weave in stock, sir? You do not. You disappoint me. And actually, he's a terrible source of ballistic weave. Who you really want to go for ballistic weave with is you want to go to... Um, I forget her name, but she's the robot over in Good Neighbor. See, all of this stuff has Ballistic Weave on it. All of this stuff has Ballistic Weave on it. We're not going to be using any of it. Well, this doesn't have Ballistic Weave. It's completely pointless. Tinker Tom Special is actually a pretty good gun if you're a rifle person. It's got the uh, instigating effect, but we're not really doing rifles here, so I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to do business with him. We've just unlocked... I don't care, drummer boy. Please fuck off. So we're going to Good Neighbor now. We're going to Good Neighbor so that we can buy ourselves some of that good ballistic weave stuff. It's expensive, but we should have the money for it. Every weapon you it's Cleo. Yeah, that's her name. The difference between life and death, baby. Let's see what you have. A gun for every occasion. All right, and in her junk, yes, ballistic fiber. Not too bad. We can offset the cost of that a little bit. Just sell her some ammo we don't want. And uh, if we got anything over here that we are overstocked on... Do, 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 do. Sell her all the mute fruit. Did we pick up any drugs? Ooh, we got a stealth boy. That's worth something. Yep, okay. So now that we got the Ballistic Weave, let's head over to Sanctuary Hills because we've got plans with that Ballistic Weave. Now see, it would have been appropriate at this juncture to actually start taking some ranks in armor because that's this is where it becomes useful. But let's do our usual breakdown. There's nothing here we have that is not legendary, and because we've got Science 2, we can put on a maximized capacitor brings us up to 70 from 60 so that's a considerable amount of extra energy damage perfect now let's see can we put anything better you know I do believe that as far as barrels go we've got the best setup the only improvement we can possibly make is at rank 3 of science where we can get the overcharged capacitor which will make it even more OTT and also, because we've unlocked Ballistic Weave, we've unlocked some other things. So let's just empty out our Foot Locker here and see what it allows us to do. Now we can actually put things on things. Let's break down the stuff we don't need. We could armor up our Clean Tan Suit if we wanted. Pretty much all, not all under things, but many under things now appear within your armory that you can actually break down or armor up if you want. So if you come across some road leathers, that's actually a good source of, believe it or not, leather. And a sequin dress. So for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to put a weave on our battered fedora, which we've been hang hanging on to this whole time. Excellent. And on to our military fatigues. 
and that gets us some nice extra damage resistance at well there's a cost but it's not a huge cost so yeah that takes care of that we've got our ballistic weave and instead of having the captain's hat which you know as much as i loved the captain's hat as great of a thing it was for giving you that two endurance you don't get to put ballistic weave on it and you can just get a lot more out of a battered fedora which gives you plus one luck which means your crits go up a little bit faster and it's one of the few hats in the game that you can actually do anything with so while the episode is over the stream goes on remember as i said if you want to be able to properly communicate with me and i hope that you do please subscribe to either my reddit my twitch not my twitch my twitter or please to my facebook any one of those three is the best way to reach me i want to thank you all for watching once again i am alex also known as solonis dracone and this has been dank out 4 goodbye <laughs>